Alright, in this video I'm going to explain how to use your API freshwater test kit properly. Alright, so it's super important to follow the directions perfectly or you're going to get the wrong reading. So let's take a look at what actually comes inside your test kit. We have your pH test solution, high range pH, ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. We also have four test vials and a color chart. We'll start first by checking our pH. I'm going to fill up this test vial to the marked line, which is exactly 5 milliliters. Take your pH testing solution, give it a little shake, then just add three drops into your testing vial. Then just cap the test tube and invert several times. So my pH is coming out pretty high. It looks like it's about 7.6, but it could be higher, so I'm going to use the high range pH test solution and test it again. Using the high range solution, now I can tell that I'm around 7.4 or 7.6 pH. Now let's move on to checking the ammonia levels. Start by filling a clean test tube to the 5 mil mark, then add 8 drops from the test solution bottle number 1. Then add another 8 drops from the test solution bottle number 2. Then cap the test tube and shake vigorously for 5 seconds. After that, wait 5 minutes for the color to develop. Now we'll test the nitrite levels. Fill a clean test tube to the 5 milliliter mark. Add 5 drops of nitrite test solution. Cap the tube and shake for 5 seconds. Then wait 5 minutes for the color to develop. Now we'll test the nitrates, but you have to follow the directions exactly. Take a filled test tube and fill it with 10 drops of the nitrate test solution, bottle number 1. Cap the tube and invert several times. Now take the nitrate bottle number 2 and shake vigorously for at least 30 seconds. Alright, now add 10 drops from bottle number 2 and cap the test tube and shake vigorously for 1 minute. After vigorously shaking for one minute, wait five minutes for the color to develop. After your test solutions have developed, all you have to do is compare them to the color chart and you'll get your reading. From there, you'll know if you need to make any adjustments to your system. And just remember, never allow your test solution to get back into your system water. Always hold bottles completely vertical for uniformity of drops, and always use the cap and not your finger when shaking the test tubes.